Yeah, hello everyone. Today again with another grip experimental session. And what I want to experiment on is what Joe Musselwhite said. He said, if you want to increase your grip strength, you do not uh, always need to buy those fancy grippers. What you can do is you just buy yourself some dough like your like your a small child and that's what I did I bought five batches of dough and um, what I will do is I will form a ball um, and make the ball as big as I need it to be so that it is a, a very good gripping challenge because if it's if it's too small then there's no challenge and if it's too big well I cannot squeeze it and what he said is the difference between using dough and using for example grippers is that uh, the time under tension is much uh, longer with the dough, with uh, the dough than with the gripper because once you lose the strength the gripper will automatically open right but with the um, with the dough it's a bit different you press you press you press you press and you continue pressing and at the very very end uh, when you have flattened the ball so to speak you are at your maximum grip strength so it's a much larger a much longer time under tension and this is maybe something that will work so let's just find out i will take the orange one out first if it comes out there it is there you see the orange dough and what i can say is okay this this is of course too easy for me right <laughs> makes so much fun like like you're a small kid again okay so this ball is too small for me okay so let's take some yellow then Okay, by the way, I bought them at Woolworth for one euro a batch, so maybe in the States it's one dollar a batch. Um, and that's pretty pretty cheap, so you do not need to buy Play-Doh, although that is the most popular and maybe even the best brand. But for all purposes here, it's absolutely fine if we use some cheaper dough, okay? Okay, now the yellow one. And they all smell a bit differently, I don't know why. So now now the yellow batch, okay? Attached to the orange one. And what I can say now is that this is much, much, much harder. Okay, so I would say I need one more batch to make it really challenging for me, but not more. So what do we take? Do we take the, the blue one, the green one, or the, the red one? Let's take let's take the red one, okay? So then we have yellow, orange, and red together. <laughs> and then we find out whether it's really true what he says or not. But he's been, wrong, he's been uh, right so many times, I do not really doubt his experience. He's really an expert on grip, as I said previous times in my videos, so I think he's right about this too. Because I can already feel the difference to, let's say, a normal hand gripper, right? This, of course, does not replace the hand gripper, but what it does, it maybe bridges some of the grippers you cannot close. So let's say, for example, I'm about to close the 0.5 right, right now and I'm working up to closing the 1. Maybe this is something that helps me out with that, right? Yes, and now I can definitely confirm that this is, this is very nice for me and this is perfectly enough. So it looks like this. This is, well, the ball, so to speak, right? And you press it and he's right. The time under tension is really is really different. It's longer, and why it's so good for hand grippers or closing hand grippers, in my opinion, is because you have the same um, you have the same well, how can I say it? You have the strongest grip 
when you almost flatten the ball, right? And that's uh, equivalent to um, closing a gripper uh, for the very, very last millimeter or two, right? There you are at your strongest. So, but because this one here makes it makes it a bit slower, it even makes your training more intense, right? So you do not get to the final position that that fast, and therefore you have a higher higher time under tension, right? So that's about it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you. And what you can do then, of course, is you can use any container. Just make sure it's clean and dry, and put it in there, right? So that you can always use the same dough. You do not need to buy a, a different. Um, batches every week or every second week every other week this is something you can you can almost have for a lifetime if you place it right and if you place it in something that's that's clean and dry right so i'm gonna make some more um some more uh, wraps with this here and um yeah see you guys soon